officer always obeys his own rules, right? April 8th, 2020, 11.25 p.m., Tucson, Arizona. Allegedly, there's a worldwide pandemic capable of wiping out mass populations across the entire world. All private businesses deemed non-essential by the government are shut down by force. Populations worldwide are told not to come out of their homes, unless it's essentially a life and death situation. People are told that if they do have to leave their homes, they should keep a distance of at least six feet between themselves and other people to prevent the spread of this deadly virus. I've just spotted this government agent walking up to a man in his vehicle and getting within one or two feet of him. I jump out with the camera to document the interaction to see what was the life and death situation that mandated that this officer have direct physical contact with another human being, risking the spread of the deadly virus. The forced interaction is over almost as quickly as it began. Less than two minutes after initiating the contact and potentially infecting the traveler with an infectious, deadly disease, the traveler is free to go. Hey man, you got a second? I don't know if his window's even down. I want to ask him about uh, their policies on uh, traffic stops during, during the Rona scare. Either this was an immediate life and death situation, or government agents aren't even following their own policies. At this point, I'm unsure if the government agent just couldn't hear me trying to address him or if he's embarrassed by his reckless behavior and potentially spreading deadly viruses. How can individuals be expected to take safety precautions seriously when the issuers of such demands don't even take them seriously themselves? I keep a close eye on the offender, wanting to watch him, but hoping he doesn't jump out and try to infect me as well. Hey man. Hey, so I'm just curious if, um, what's your guys' policy on traffic stops during the Rona scare? Uh, we're minimizing contact as much as possible. But okay. If you see something egregious, unsafe, you're kind of obligated to, uh, to address the issue. At least tell them, hey, going 65 in the 30 is not appropriate. Something like that. Is that what that one was? Yeah, Six, more or less. 65 and a 30? Something like that. Okay. About that, yeah. Okay, I just I just thought it a little bit odd that so-called non-essential businesses are shut down, and you know I've been uh, I've actually seen cops from Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona doing traffic stops. Some a little bit less egregious, actually. Arizona Highway Patrol seems to be setting up a lot of speed traps yeah, on our ten. Everybody has their own right. policy, but right. out. Yeah. All right, have a good one. Thanks. You too. Don't let the Ronas get you. Either non-essential business should be shut down, or it shouldn't. Either non-essential contact between individuals should be restricted, or it shouldn't. But what's with this one set of rules for the people and a different set of rules for the government? Are they immune to the laws of nature and this virus that could potentially kill so many people? Are they immune to spreading it?